What's up guys, Taylor here. Uh, today is Saturday, September 12th, and today is my one official month on testosterone. Uh, this past Wednesday I took what was my fifth shot, marking four weeks on T, uh, but my first shot was August 12th, so today is my official one month on T. What's up guys, it is Taylor. Today is Monday, September 12th, 2016, and today I am 13 whole months on testosterone, um, a year and a month, however you want to say it, but that's insane. It's, it's crazy. Um, last month I had made a video, and it said part one, and I had all intentions of posting a part two, but I got lazy and never did so but in the other video I was saying um, instead of every month trying to come up with changes that I notice I'm not gonna do that because it's to the point where it's it's just it's hard to pinpoint changes um, so going forward my videos for however long I decide to keep making update videos I'm going to go over any changes I may notice um, if there are any, if there's not, then I will just have a topic every month. After I introduce myself and say I am blah 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 on T, because I want that part of it, because it's really cool to line them up and see how things have changed and how my voice has changed and whatnot. So, changes. The only thing that I would say that I've really noticed is my facial hair is starting to creep up like on my cheek I just like shaved it into like this chin strap looking thing yesterday it's kinda pathetic cause it still doesn't grow in normal but YOLO um, but anyway yeah so it's starting to like creep up on my cheek more like darker hair so that's a good thing um, for changes that's really it I have been going through this like midlife crisis about myself this last month because I noticed that my hairline is receding and okay yesterday I got a haircut and we did a hard part so in my defense part of my hair right here is buzzed off but on this side like you can see like it's creeping back so I compared photos check it out so that first one is I don't even know when it was but almost a year ago and then the other one was last month and you can definitely see that my hairline is has receded a little bit and so I told my hairdresser that you know I'm going through this midlife crisis about it and she said start using Rogaine and so maybe I will start using Rogaine I don't know but I hope it, apparently that actually helps a lot so maybe um, but another thing that I have heard is Myoxin, I believe, is what it's called. Uh, I've never used either one of those, but I was told real gain by my hairdresser, so that's the route I would go if I decided to do it. So we'll see. We'll see if this gets any worse. I, I can't. Like this, this right here, this receding hairline was the number two fear of starting tea for me. Like first was the acne problem, which we're actually going to talk about in a second, and then next was the hairline problem. Like. All medical risks aside, any of that, like blood clots, any of that, no. The two things, acne and hairline. Alright, so the topic that I am going to talk about now, just real quick, not going to be anything like 15 minute long topic, but is the acne aspect of testosterone. Um, like I said, I'm a year and a month, 13 months on T, and I actually consider myself to be really, really lucky. Um, I mean, there are times where I actually, you know, have some on my face, but for the most part, like, it's not horrible. It's it's manageable, and it goes away, and it's not that bad. I mean, it is bad for me because I've never really had an acne problem, so anything that I get, I'm like, oh my god, my life is ending because I'm really dramatic, but at least I admit it. Um, so, yeah. I have actually found something that works for me, and it is this face wash. I wash my face uh, once a day, 
and it's right before bed and this stuff has saved my life immensely um, I get it at Target this bottle is like 10 ish dollars so yeah for me that's a lot of money for me that's a lot of money because yeah it's just I mean 10 bucks on some face wash that's like uh, I could do so many things with $10 I could go to Taco Bell and buy like so many things for $10 but instead I spent $10 on this but yeah anyway so this saves my life um, if you have a Sam's Club near you I know they sell it there as well so they probably sell it at Costco too um, but at Sam's I did see it like the other week and there was a two pack two of these same size for it was like 12 or 13 so obviously that's the better deal um, but originally I had used this Neutrogena face wash for men um, and I got it because it said like acne whatever it helped with acne and it was orange and it smelled good and so I got it and I was using it and it didn't really help and so then we got this and this bottle actually lasts us a few months at a time and it's not just me using it it is also my fiance Julia and yeah I swear by this it works when I don't use this I do notice a difference um, I do start to break out a little bit and so that's why I become a freak about washing my face every single night right before bed and it helps um, when I do get acne, it's like right around here in my mouth. Like, right here. Like, why? Why do I have to have anything? I don't know. But yeah, um, check it out. Even if you're not a transgender male, if you have problems with acne, this will save your life. So, here you go. Target, 10 bucks, Sam's, 12 or 13 or something for a two-pack. And that's all I got, guys. I will catch you guys next month for my 14 months, one year, two months, and I'll have another random thing to talk about then. I know you're excited. I know this was so exciting. I know you're like, shit, I'm so excited because now I know what to go buy for my freaking acne problems. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, link under this video to my GoFundMe. Check it out, share it, read it, donate if you can, if you want to. I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. Like always, I really do appreciate anything. Um, have a great week, and I'll catch you next time.